Ms. Gomez wants to know what her student's favorite ice cream flavor is and recorded the results in the following frequency table. Which flavor had three more than half as many votes as vanilla? Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we're going to be talking about the TIC 5.9C, solving one and two step problems using data from frequency tables. This is the lesson one out of four. So I am going to be using the same word problem, but with different questions, okay? So you can understand how this works. So the first question is, which one is the most popular flavor, right? So I'm going to make these tally marks into numbers. So how many students voted for strawberry? Seven for vanilla. Seven for chocolate. Ten for cookies and cream. Six. So which one is the most popular? Yes, is chocolate because there are 10 students that voted for it. Now the next question will be, which one is the least popular, the one that they didn't like, like that you cannot buy that one for them? Yes, cookies and cream, because it's just six. Next question will be, how many students are in total in Ms. Gomez's class? So I can put all of those numbers together to find how many students are in total. 7 plus 7 is equal to 14, then we have 10 plus 6 is equal to 16, and then 14 plus 16, that's very easy, is equal to 30. They are 30 students in total. How many more students selected strawberry and chocolate than vanilla and cookies and cream? So in this case, I have to put together first strawberry and chocolate, then put together cookies and cream and vanilla, and then find the difference between them. So it's gonna be a subtraction at the end, right? So let's start. Strawberry and chocolate, that means that I have 17 in total among them. Then whenever I put vanilla and cookies and cream together, I have 13. And if I am finding the difference between them, it's gonna be equal to four. So four more students selected strawberry and chocolate than vanilla and cookies and cream. Other two classes surveyed the students with the same categories. One of the classes selected cookies and creams one and five times as many as Ms. Gomez's class, and the other three times as much as Ms. Gomez. How many students among the three classes selected cookies and cream? So first I will have to find how much was the first class, how much was the second class. So the first class is one and five times as many, what? As many cookies and cream. So I know that cookies and cream is six, so that means that I am multiplying one and five times six. That's gonna be equal to nine. So the first class is nine. Now let's go with the second one. It's three times as many cookies as cream and cream. So that means that cookies and cream is six. And if it's three times, it's gonna be equal to 18. So that means that there I have nine plus 18. That's gonna be equal to 27. Now I have to include Miss Gomez's class, right? How many students selected cookies and cream from Miss Gomez's class? Six. So I'm gonna put them together and my answer will be 33. So 33 students selected cookies and cream among the three classes. What fraction of the survey selected chocolate as their favorite flavor? So if I'm asking for a fraction, it, first I have to look for the total, right? So the total, we know there is already 30. So that means that 30 is my denominator. And my numerator is what? 10, because they selected chocolate. What is 10 out of 30 as a fraction whenever we simplify? It's equal to one out of three or one third. Now, last type of question. Which flavor had two more than half as many votes as chocolate? So if it's two more than half, first I have to find the half. So if chocolate is 10, the half of 10 is five. And if I'm saying two more, I have to add two. So my answer will be seven. Seven means strawberry and vanilla had two more than half as many votes as chocolate. With that being said, now you know how to solve problems using data from frequency tables. Thank you very much. This was Mr. Sanchez and his man. Today we were working with the TIC 5.9C solving one and two step problems, including frequency tape. It was a lesson one out of four of the TIC. And remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And before you leave, take some notes. Have a good one, guys.